Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can create and configure self-hosted agents and we will also see how to use those agents for running our Azure DevOps pipelines. So let's get started. In Azure DevOps, we will be having two types of agents. One is Microsoft hosted agents and the other one is self-hosted agents. So the difference is in case of Microsoft hosted agents, the agents are created, configured and maintained by the Microsoft itself. So the responsibility of the agents is taken care by the Microsoft. We just have to use those agents for running our Azure DevOps pipelines. That's it. But in case of self-hosted agents, we have to create the agents and we have to configure the agents. The responsibility should be taken care by us. One more thing that I want to highlight before moving on to the demo part is in Azure DevOps, we can create agents at two levels. One is at an organization level and we can also create at project level. So the hierarchy is in Azure DevOps, we can have multiple organizations and in each organization, we'll be having multiple projects. So if you create an agent at an organization level, so the, all the projects that are part of that organization can use those agent for running the pipelines. But if you create an agent at a project level, only the pipelines that are part of that project will be using that agent. So the other projects will not have access for using those agents for running the pipelines. But as part of this demo, we will create agent at an organization level and see how we can use that agent for running the pipelines in a project. So let's get started with the demo. I am in the Azure DevOps and on the left you can see I have one organization called Automation Tasks here. And in this organization, I have one project called Basic Automations. So you can create multiple projects in this organization. So you have to click on new project and you can create as many projects as you need based on the requirement. So if I click on the organization settings here at the bottom, and if I come down, if I click on the agent pools under pipelines. So here you can see I have two agent pools. So these two agent pools you will get by default when you sign up to the Azure DevOps account. So if I click on Azure pipelines here, and if I go on to the agents, so you can see I have one agent as part of this Azure pipelines agent pool. So this is the Microsoft hosted agent that I got as part of this organization. And if I go on to the agent pools again, and if I click on the default agent pool, and if I go on to the agents, so you can see I don't have any agents as of now as part of this default agent pool. So here you can create a new self-hosted agent in this default agent pool by clicking on the new agent here, or you can create a new agent pool by clicking on to the add pool here and you can create a new agent as part of the new agent pool. So as part of this demo, I'll create a new agent pool and I'll configure a new agent as part of that new agent pool that we are going to create. So let me select self-hosted here and let me give a name for the new agent pool that we are going to create. Let me give as Ubuntu iPhone agent pool. And make sure you check this box here so that all the pipelines in this project and the organization will have access to these agents. So click on create here. So you can see we have created one agent pool. And if I go on to this agent pool and if I go on to the agents, so we don't have any agents configured as of now. And if you click on the new agent here, so you will be having a set of instructions for each of the operating system for creating and configuring the agent as part of this agent pool. 
so these are the instructions that we have to follow for windows and these are the instructions for mac os and these are the instructions for linux operating system so as part of this demo i'll create a new virtual machine with linux operating system and i'll follow these instructions and configure the agent in this agent so let's proceed with that so i am in the azure cloud so let me go on to the virtual machines and create a virtual machine so click on create create azure virtual machine let me give the resource group demo hyphen rg and the virtual machine name uh, let me give as ubuntu hyphen agent one and if i come down so i'll be using ubuntu uh, server image um, let me go with the same machine type and authentication type let me go with the username and password username is admin user Yeah, provided the password as well so i'm opening the port 22 so that i can switch into the machine for configuring as an agent so let me go on to the disks part and let me go with the same configuration and in the networking section make sure you create a new public ip address so that we will be using that public ip address to switch into the machine and let me go with the same configurations as of now and click on review and create so now you can see the virtual machine has been created so click on go to resource to see the virtual machine so let me use this public ip address to search into the machine so in the mobile X term, click on the session here and click on the SSH, provide the public IP address and provide the username that we have specified while creating the virtual machine. And provide the password. Yeah, I'm into the machine. So let me go back to the Azure DevOps and follow the instructions. So here the first step is to download the agent. So click on the download button here to download the agent. So it would take some time to download the agent. As you can see here, it is uh, downloading. Let me run this command to create the directory. So let me paste that command inside the virtual machine so it will basically create a directory and then we will go inside that directory called my agent so you can see that currently we are in my agent directory so we see there are no files created in this directory as of now so we have to upload the file that we have downloaded earlier so we have to upload into the my agent directory that we have created using this mkdir command so for uploading into this directory into this machine you have to go on to the left side and here you have to paste the path where you want to upload and then you have to click on this upload icon and select the file so that the file will be uploaded into this machine so let me click on this upload icon and upload the file so i have selected the uh, linux file that i have to upload so you can see the upload is still going on that is 10 percent so once this is done we'll work on executing the next instructions so after a couple of minutes the file has been uploaded so you can see the file here as well and let me uh, type ls so this is the file that we have uploaded so let me go back to the azure devops and proceed with the next instructions 
So let me copy the next command that we have to execute. And let me paste that here. So make sure you provide the correct path here. So my file is not in the downloads uh, directory. So let me give the correct path here and click on enter. So this will extract the tar file that we have uploaded into this machine. So the extraction is completed. So uh, if you click on LL, you can see all the files um, that we got when we extract this tar file. So now let's run the config.sh file here. So paste this command here and click on enter. So this is the place where you have to provide all the configuration details. So let me click on yes here. And this is asking us to provide the server URL. So let me get the server URL here. So let me copy the entire path and paste that here. Click on enter. And this is asking for the authentication type. So let's proceed uh, with the pad that is by providing the personal access token. So let's Go ahead and create a personal access token in the Azure DevOps here. So let me close this one for a second. And if you click on the user settings here, you will be having an option to create a personal access token. And under the security, so you can see the personal access tokens. So let me go ahead and create a new token here. Let me provide a name agent one iPhone pad and let me click on show all scopes. So here we have to provide the permissions that are required. So we need a agent pool read and manage permission. So let me click on read and manage and let me click on create. So this will generate a personal access token. So Copy this token and paste that here. Click on enter. So here it is asking us to provide the agent pool name. So let's get that agent pool name from the Azure DevOps itself. So this is the agent pool that we have created earlier. So let's provide this agent pool name. So let me copy this agent pool name and paste that here. And it is asking us to provide the agent name. So let me give that as Ubuntu hyphen agent. Click on enter. So let me click on enter. So here it is asking us to provide the working directory. So this is uh, where when you run the pipelines, so it will generate some artifacts. So those artifacts will be stored inside this working directory. So let me give this as home slash admin user slash working underscore directory. So let me click on enter. So here it is saying the settings are saved. So let's go back to the Azure DevOps and inside this Ubuntu hyphen agent pool, agent pool. So if you click on the agents, now you can see the agent has been configured, but here you can see that is in offline. So we need to run one more command to get back this agent online. So let me click on new agent again to get that instruction. If you go on to the Linux and if you come down here, it is asking us to run the run.sh file so that the agent will be online. So let me copy this one and go back onto the machine and let me paste that command and click on enter. 
So here you can see it is listening for jobs. That means the agent is available and it is listening for the pipeline jobs. So let's go back onto the Azure DevOps. Let's close this one. And now you can see the status as online. So now this agent is online and we can use this agent for running our Azure DevOps pipelines. So let's go back to the organization and let's go to the project. And currently I am in the basic automations project and let's go on to the pipelines. So there is one pipeline Azure deployments that I have already configured earlier. So let me go to this Azure deployments pipeline. So let me click on edit um, the pipeline. And here you can see previously the agent pool has configured the default one. So that is the Azure pipelines. So if I click on the drop down, you can see the self hosted agent pool that we have created. So let me click on this one and let me click on agent job one. And if I come down, so everything looks perfect. So let me run this pipeline. So basically this pipeline consists of few Terraform commands like Terraform init, Terraform validate and Terraform plan. So let me run this pipeline. Uh, we have already configured our self hosted agent pool here. So let me run this one and see how it works. So if I click on agent job one. So here you can see the pool. Uh, that it is scheduled is uh, Ubuntu agent one and the agent is that we have configured. Sorry, like if the agent is that we have configured Ubuntu hyphen agent one, that is the VM that we have created, right? So these tasks uh, which are part of this pipeline are executed inside this agent, like the virtual machine that we have just configured. So let's wait for a bit and come back once this pipeline is completed. So now you can see the pipeline has been completed successfully. So let's go to the VM and you can see the log has been generated saying the job has been completed successfully. So let's duplicate this tab for a while. And let's go to the folder that we have configured. And let's go to the working directory that we have configured while configuring the agent. So let's go to the slash home slash admin user slash working directory. So this is the working directory that we have configured. So let's see what are the files that we have here. So once we run that pipeline, right? So these are the files that got created. And if we go inside the folder so you can see different files inside the directory so let's go to the s yes folder and so these are the files that we have in the azure devops repository so this is the pipeline that we have ran and if we click on the pipelines here and if you go to the branch vnet underscore subnet so you can see the different files that we have in the repository so when you run a build pipeline artifacts will be generated and all these artifacts will be stored under the working directory that we have specified while configuring the agent and in the similar way you can create different self-hosted agents based on windows os and mac os as well so that's it on the demo part guys so please like the video and subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out on my next videos. Thank you.